Today I am going to be using Cheat Engine on Super Size. So first of all go into Settings, Graphics, lower the resolution and turn off the full screen for easier access to the Cheat Engine. Now turn on the Cheat Engine and via this glowing button connect it to the game. So for this hack to create it you're going to need at least 80 trophies because you need to access the practice of free play this practice tab the free play which is easy place to create all the cheats so you need to have at least 80 trophies you can of course use my other cheat that shows how to increase the amount of trophies so go into casual practice and turn on the free play we are in the game so today's hack is gonna be uh, a requested one because I looked it up there's actually Android versions that use cheats, mods called, that increase the view, see every single person, yada yada. I'm gonna show half of it. It's this, the that shadow, uh, which in the fog, the, the, the sea, the, the vision, the view, the... anyways. As you can see, any imposter has a, a higher vision. Any crewmate or other thing has lower vision. So I'm gonna increase this vision till the ghost vision and ghost can see through walls and whatnot. So how to do it? Well first of all uh, select let's say uh, not imposter so like a space crew or neutral. I'm gonna select just a simple crew member it doesn't really matter and now in this cheat engine, we're gonna select by this, the bottom one, not 4 bytes, we're gonna select float. And now select trend. Trun. Trun. Trunst. Trunst. Truncated. Select this bottom one and now type in 3. Uh, no, no, wait. Type in 2. Crew members have like this vision is is a two you're gonna see when i'm gonna create it so it's a two i'm gonna scan as two so yeah okay there's a lot of different numbers i'm gonna scan again all right so now i'm gonna select the imposter and i'm gonna type free i'm gonna scan as free and this is gonna be real easy and real quick, as I can tell. I'm gonna scan again. We need to decrease the found value. In total, there should be about 55, I believe. It, don't worry, it's quite easy. It's an, it's an easy cheat to make. And it's really, really useful. So, okay, we found all the Okay, it's 60. So we found uh, the 60 uh, found, 60 found values, and one of them represents the, this, well, each one of them represented, but uh, one of them controls it. Now, which one controls this, this, this shadow, this view, this view range? Uh, it's, uh... You need to look, you see, you can see the ends of these numbers are always C, except for a few. You need to look for the end with an 8. So it might be this one, or it might be this one. <gasps> now how to check? We'll simply change the value into a 0. The 0 is a ghost value. Not the ghost value, it's, it's the ghost visions value. So it's not this one, I'm going to change this one. And there we have it. It's this one. So okay, we found it. And now we can see like the ghost. We can see through the walls. Uh, let me show you a better example. But we have the ghost vision. And as you can see, I can see the crewmate above. And this is really, really useful. So uh, of course I might be able to do this in normal Among Us. So uh, what kind of values there are? There are zero which is the ghost value. Now, there is a 1, 
which is the value when you lose power and you go to you go to fix the power to get the lights back on and there's a two which is a crewmate there is a three which is an imposter and there's a four which is I don't know what this is this is not the electrical because if I change it to one which is electrical it's even lower so what four is I don't know and of course you can type in like five it's it's not gonna change it this is the DN this is N <coughs> this is the end I don't know who has this vision it's okay I'm gonna type zero because it's easier to look okay so we have the value but of course if we reset the game or if we go into now into a multiplayer uh, we're gonna lose the value so how to keep this value even after resetting well we aren't gonna do AOB injections and um, we're gonna do pointer scans I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this top one it's it's not the correct one we're gonna do the pointer scan so first of all I'm gonna right click this I'm gonna select generate pointer map now you need to name the file I'm gonna name it as the one I'm gonna actually rename this one description I'm gonna click this name this as one and now it's gonna scan so give it a moment there it, it has finished scanning so now what we we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna exit the game and now don't close the cheat engine it's the most important part you can of course save the cheat engine I'm gonna save it on desktop just if it closes we're gonna still have the we need this value and we need the pointer map for that value so we wouldn't lose it now we're gonna open the super sus again and go back into the free play so now that i'm back all we need to do is do the same thing again we need to locate the same value again so we're gonna do of course we're gonna hook this to the game we're gonna need to press this button again connect to the game keep the code list and now I'm gonna do new scan we are crewmates so it's a 2 first scan is a 2 now I'm gonna select an imposter the second second scan is a 3 and I might be able to even find it like this though it's 400 I might be able to find it let's see to look for an 8 in the end you can of course lower the value by changing how it did it in a star I'm just gonna find it like this I'm gonna see if this is the correct one it is all right I have the value and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna rename this as a do I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna press generate pointer map I'm gonna name this as a 2. So we have done scanning both of these values. We can start looking for pointer scans. We can pointer scan. So I'm gonna press this 2, the second one that we scanned right now that, we, that has value. I'm gonna reselect it and right click it and press pointer scan for this address. It's gonna show this. You're gonna need to press this above, use save pointer map. I'm gonna use the two because it's it's the two. Gonna, it's the two. We're gonna compare all the results with other by selecting the first one. And the code of the first one is yes, you automatically selected the correct one. Beautiful. All right, we have it. We can start scanning. I rename this. I'm gonna name it this one two. After the scanning is done, you can just... Well, after scanning is done and you have done all the things that you need to do... You can just delete all these files, the, these white files, you can just delete them all. Just have your saved cheat engine, the cheat table, as they like to call it. Now, there's a bunch of values. How do we locate the correct ones? 
and we're gonna right click this and we're gonna press uh, find out what writes to this address or F6 yes there okay now I'm gonna switch to a crew member it's gonna do an action and now I'm gonna look at this just hover over it and as you can see there's a Rex plus zero zero a bunch of zeros and there is eight eight and I can assure you eight eight is always occurring so we need to find an offset which is in the end which is eight eight I'm gonna press this and it's gonna sort all the offsets we can of course maybe do it differently but I don't care and you can see there is eight eight with offsets the offsets the eight eight the and I'm gonna let's see these ones. I don't know about this. This anyway. There's the offset 88. There's all the values fit because the value right now is two. It's a crew member. Just gonna randomly click a bunch of these. Scroll a bit down. As far as I checked, none of them broke, so all of them might work, perhaps. So, okay, I just clicked a bunch, and so I'm gonna close this. And I'm gonna create a group for them. So I'm gonna right-click, I'm gonna press create a header. And it's gonna name, I'm gonna name it... Okay, so we have a group called Vision. Now I'm gonna pu put them all in this group. Okay, so a little accident happened, but what you need to do is just select the bottom one and the top one via shift. It's just easier to select. You can, of course, drag one by one and just see this line. You need the line to hit this, hit this group, whatever you named it, and just add in, it adds to the group. So I'm just gonna select all and do this a lot faster. This one too, get in. Nah. Okay, so uh, we don't need this or these. Just delete both of them. And there we have it. Now we're gonna right click the group. We're gonna hover over group config. And you can see a bunch of options. Hide children when deactivated. The children is. Okay, I'm gonna explain. This is the parent. These are the children. So yeah. Explaining that. So we can hide the children when deactivated, activating this and deactivate the children, this is good. I'm gonna activate that. Deactivating activate deactivates the children, good. So the value to this entity sets the same to children, very good. I'm gonna select this so we can do this. Imagine there's a value over here. We're gonna select it. I'm gonna type a zero. Every single one gets the zero. We have this. Now I don't if in a manual expand collapse. There we go. Like this I can hide and show if I want. So yeah, this cheat should work on multiplayer. I don't know why it wouldn't. Maybe there is a safeguard, but maybe. So if there isn't, I believe there isn't because this is a fan game and there should be no safeguard, so we can just use it because it, this is a client side, so Anyways, this should work on multiplayer, that's all you need to know. So yeah, don't forget of course to save it. As so, let's replace. And you can just of course boot it up. Connect it to the game. Like so. And just change the value. And just have the cheat and all of these files you can just delete them I mean you don't really need them just delete them I would suggest you should uh, keep all of these let's say all of these in one of the files one of the cheat tables and just have your main cheat table let's see I'm gonna pull this one out oh. Okay, delete by pressing delete and enter and have just one, just just call it 
whatever you want and just have one of them just save this as your main and, and done and you have this one this one thing and you can just turn on and you have the value it's really useful you can just well, use this one if this breaks you can just turn on the whole thing with the all of the codes take another one just one and just use it it's a lot easier it's a lot not easier it's a lot more convenient to see the actual value that you have so yeah that is all thanks for watching